would you uh, take away from film after let it soak in for a little while? Uh, you know what, te techniques and fundamentals weren't uh, the greatest. I thought that after the, the game and, you know, our operation, uh, we really talked about that. Uh, you know, a bunch of being there for the first time and, uh, you know, that'll get better. Usually from game one to game two, it gets better. And, yeah, it really came down to fundamentals. We got to get better. That's what we've been working on today. Had a really good practice and can't wait to get back to Saturday, especially in front of our home crowd. Eddie, Mark used the word, uh, the term operation also. What, what exactly do you mean by that when you say our operation needs to be better? Get up, get down, get set, make the calls, and let's go. Too much talking, too much, you know, there's going to be times where we don't have the perfect play. It's not going to be the, I mean, let's just get on a body and, and, and let's go. Uh, but th that, that's going to come with, that's going to come with time. It's going to come with uh, those guys working together, us getting a nice gel with the guys that need to be in there. and. Uh, uh, I think from what they saw on film and uh, what they did today, I think that'll be correct. Is that talking between the quarterback and the line or the linemen among the themselves? The line talking or? amongst themselves, quarterback talking to the line, a little bit of both. Mark used the term easy fixes and some that are not so easy. Does that fall in the easy fix category? Yes, it does. Mark said uh, Benny might have gotten a little impatient on some of his runs, especially after the fumble. He might have tried to do too much. What did you kind of see from him? Well, it was it was twofold. Uh, a couple of times we went the wrong way um, schematically, and we had guys come free, and therefore he had to be impatient. And he had to just go. Then when we got it right, he was impatient. So he saw that on film. Uh, he had a great day of being technique sound today. He really, really worked on it and uh, I, I don't foresee that happening anymore. You know, it just, it was a little bit of a discombobulation in there and um, we got it, we got it fixed at times and when we got it fixed, we, we came, it looked like us. You know, when we weren't right, it didn't look like us. It was not good. It was second down and 12 and, and that's not good. With all the twists, stunts and open all they were doing, uh, it's a good open game for the offense. Yeah, it is. You know, I think that uh, any time you get movement, you're going to get movement all the time. People are going to move on you. That's what all we got last year. You know, uh, a little bit more with this group right here, but we're going to get it all year long. It's, uh, we, we did it all, see, all, all fall camp, too. So there's no there, there, we, we, there's no excuses. You know, it's about anticipating. It's about watching film uh, and, and seeing, uh, you know, pre-snap what's going on and anticipating. And we've got to be better at anticipating. And you said after the game, maybe you got a little too stubborn with the Wildcat plays. Did you agree with that opinion afterwards, or were you okay with it when you went back and worked it as a film? Yeah, a little bit. You know, I, I, we got, I got a little bit stubborn with it, but, you know, we were close so many times. You know, a couple of those were, were, were 12 yards, and if he breaks a tackle, it's going to be a house call. And, um, you know, I could have opened it up a little bit more. We were 6 of 9 efficient in passing the ball. So, uh, but we won the game, period, the end. Uh, that's a great road win for us. And, you know, we're, we're plus two in the turnover margin. That's huge. And uh, so we can build off that. How did you grade Steven's performance? He it was proficient in short yards plays, but didn't have a couple big home runs on that pass to CJ. Yeah, I, I thought, you know, Taven had a chance to make a play. Uh, I, I thought the, the couple third down conversions that we didn't convert, we'd be saying that we did a really good job, you know. The, it all came down to that third down conversion. It was third and one, and then it goes to third and six, and then we've got a guy wide open, and we don't hit him. He's still running right now. He's still running if we complete that, and it changes the game. You know, and, that, and you never know in this game what play is going to change the game. And we always talk about that. You've got to, you've got to be ready every single moment. And so uh, hopefully we'll learn from that. Uh, and, and uh, you know, he's hit that same play 50 times this, this camp. So. You know, I would, I would, I would bet that our execution is going to be better this week. What do you think up? happened on that play? Did he just rush it or what? just overthrow it? You know, technique. Eastern held a pretty prolific offense to only 14 points in the first half. What, what did they do well on that side of the ball? They, they do. They're coached really well. First of all, they run to the ball. They, they, they swarm. Uh, their backers are downhill. Uh, I think up front they, they get in. in Midline of you, and it's hard to get off on combination blocks. And uh, you know they, they just they do a great job. You know it's going to be this. This game is not about them at all. This game is about us. This game is totally about us.
couple of deep balls was done to Isaiah, but he's shown in fall camp that he can stretch the field. Yeah, he is one guy that can take the top off. We have found that out. Him and Josh Ali both are guys that we feel like they can, you know, get that ball. I mean, get the, uh, take the top off the safeties and uh, have a chance for big plays down the field. Uh, you know, K1 had a really good day today. Uh, you know, he's a guy that we got to get involved. Uh, you know, throw it up there. You, you look at a couple of theirs, they just threw it up there. And some of their guys made plays. You know, sometimes that's what you got to do. Give them a chance. We got to give our guys a chance with those deep balls. Mark said you guys had things planned for Lynn later in the game and weren't able to get to him because of, you know, just the lack of snaps. Are you wanting to see him get more involved this week? Absolutely. Uh, you know, we've got packages for about four guys and, uh, you know, four positions, and then, and then it goes to individually. And uh, it didn't work out, but uh, you know, Benny, Benny got his opportunity about game three, you know, when he was ready. Lynn was late, uh, and, and, and he understands that. And, uh, but absolutely, uh, you know, more touches as we continue for sure. Have you all moved any closer to deciding whether Brian Kovac is going to play this year or not? Or is it no, we haven't right now. Uh, everything's status quo for him right now. He's up developing and learning, and uh, really looking good. Eddie, was there, was there anybody that uh, particularly pleased you that maybe you had some questions about coming into Saturday who, who made a good impression? No, you know, I expected CJ to play well, and I thought he played really well. Uh, you know, and, and you, you take a, a lot away from them tight ends because, you know, you get to see the catches. But the stuff that they're doing blocking, uh, I thought he did a good job blocking. Uh, he was our player of the game. And uh, so if there was one person, I would say he stood out. And, and Landon Young, I thought, competed and, and did some nice things too. Anybody else?